Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Social in the City, a YouTube event that brings everyone together for a weekend of fun. Creators meet fans, fans meet creators, and in general, it's just a lovely weekend. Everybody spends far too much money, everyone has far too much to drink, and in the end, at the after party, a table gets broken. <laughs> like genuinely this weekend, a table was broken at the after party. But for me, the story of Sitsi doesn't start here. It starts all the way back in 2019, where me, as a 15-year-old kid, thought it was funny to turn up to the event in a baby mask. This makes me so uncomfortable. Look at this. It's funny. My boy. How uh, beautiful, though. Look at this. You look really pretty to me, yeah, though. Uh, honestly, quite gorgeous. Like, um... It's just a bit weird. But fast forward two years to where we are now, and I was invited to Sitsi as a special guest. I'm just trying to like pinch my skin because I feel like I'm dreaming. Trust like the one day for me to get spots will be on the day of Sitsi where I'm literally meeting like everyone for the first time and stuff like that. All right, this is a little original piece that I've came up with. Uh, just, it's featuring Lil Pump up next week, so. So after the most beautiful McDonald's breakfast I've ever had in my life, I headed to the XL. Famous people were rolling in left, right and centre, but there was only one person who I cared about who was there. His name is Ed Sheeran. Oh my god, it's Ed Sheeran! Oh my god, it's Ed Sheeran! I'm in love with the shape of you, mate. No, 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 no I'm pictures, in no love pictures, with the shape man. of you. No pictures, man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, we keep this loving a photograph, don't we? Oh yeah, dude. And there I find myself, backstage, seconds away from going onto a panel, which has been something that I've dreamed of doing for a very, very long time. The guys were ready, I was ready, and this is how it went. Hi, my name's Callum. Uh, I post like mental health advice videos, and I am the co-founder of Clash of Creators. <laughs> if you are struggling, please just reach out for help. Be like, just. You know, keep reaching out and keep looking after yourself is such an important thing. Call me again, drunk in your bends, driving home under the influence. That shit's embarrassing, you are my everything All that you did was make me fucking sad and Don't try to make me feel bad I could talk about every time I swear, I'm, my pants are gonna fall off After that lovely performance from Alfie himself We decided to wrap up the day and go to the after party And for some reason, I thought I was the next big singer Morning. Day number two at Sitsi. For some reason, well, it's not for some reason. Party was a bit mad. Everyone's hanging. I didn't drink too much last night, so I'm sweet. I got my panel at half four, which is in five hours, so we're just chilling out and stuff like that in a minute. Um, I think it's just so beautiful today. I don't know what it is, but today just feels so good. Yeah, I don't know. Sitsi day two. Let's go. Yeah. I don't care. I'm not here because I'm <laughs> Let's go for his niece. Sundays are always a little bit more quieter because not as many people go on a Sunday and people are just hanging and have got a hangover. However, I thought I would bring a bit of sun to lighten up the mood. Get it? Sun? Sunflower? No, th this is why I don't do comedy. Let's go! Our first target. Hey. Oh. Hello, beauty. 
Mate, your mum's a Teletubby. You're a Teletubby. Your mum's a Teletubby. <laughs> Being able to speak about mental health live to the public is something I've always dreamed of doing. So to have that as the final thing at Sitsi genuinely topped off the whole weekend. And um, hopefully the advice that I gave just helped people and stuff. But yeah, doing a mental health funny was something I've always dreamed of, man. And, and finally being able to do it was, was just incredible. But the weekend ended, but the parties didn't. And we had a very, very sober evening. I definitely didn't get home at 6.30am.